all good. Yeah, but if there's someone good. better that could do it. A while back. Mm. So, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> let's see Paul. In the UK, we have a show called Doctor Who. It's a long I know Doctor Who. She's a fan. I believe she's a fan. Yeah. Yeah. The, I'm sitting the... here a little offended that Lee <laughs> directed it to James and not me. I, I totally forgot, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but uh, but they've announced a new Doctor. Mm -hmm. If if you haven't seen the news, but yeah, they've 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 literally just uh, just announced a new Doctor. <laughs> I know Jody had already filmed her regeneration scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the latest terrible. series with Jody, um, but uh, I won't have to give it a watch. I've just sort of like teetered off from it since the timeless child. The acts of gaming. So, <laughs> speaking of being speaking of a timeless child. Oh, and uh, Mark's just joined as well. <laughs> Get your cameras ready. Get my camera ready. Yeah. All right, I gotta, I gotta do my pre-podcast stuff, but we're live just as it is. Oh no. Guys, you're muted. Oh no, no, not anymore. Can you hear me? Is it this mic I'm using? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And we still can't see you, Mark. Mark. What's that guy? Oh, they're going young. I mean, he was okay in these all the people that are education, but I don't know. Actors. I'm the good looking one, by the way. Um, that's... <laughs> my mom thought you were. My mom was uh, washing my uh, podcast mug. I'd like to see him as uh, a guy called Mark. Um, my mum's just off camera because she's terrified of being seen. <laughs> hey, mum. <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Hey, oh, oh, it, it comes full. Hey, mum. Good to see you. I'm amazing, thank you. How are you? Lovely sunshine here. Yeah, well, we actually, it's minus four this morning, but it is sunny here too. We're going to be 22 next week, so it's going to be lovely. Wow, I think we may get to 12. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you look wonderful today, Mum. You're looking good, Mum. <laughs> oh, you Davies is returning. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Um, that's Amelia from England. Uh, the white sea with the pink ears is from Canada. Paul's from Canada. There's not. There's not. Oh, no. He hasn't turned his uh, camera on yet. He's American. No. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the new doctor being so young. Uh, well, we've had young, like Matt Smith and... and... And whatnot, like, I know, um, but like I, I look at him and he looks like teenager college, and that is younger than Matt Smith. Yeah, okay. yeah, I get that. Um, it, the new Doctor's been announced. The Doctor Who. Is it? Um, I, I can't pronounce it. It's, it's um. Should I just close the thing? I, I think Lee's from <clears throat> North, and I don't know where that's. Newt. Newt. Nukti Gata? Gatla? Who? No idea. I don't know. He was in um, sex education. Nakudi. Nakudi Gat. Gatwa. Yeah, Gatwa. That's. Nakudi. <laughs> Who's got cooties? <laughs> you, Paul. <laughs> oh, I do I'm have cooties. <laughs> that is a wonderful looking dress as well. Paul says your dress is lovely. Oh, happy American Mother's Day. Hey, N North American, mister. It's can and it's in Canada too. Oh, it's uh, Mother's Day in Canada too. Yeah, it sure is. 
I have to copy all your culture from other countries. No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, Mark? I'm doing pretty good. Woke up with a headache, so I just had to take my meds real quick, and and now I'm doing fantastic. Golden State won last night. Uh, yeah. Boston lost, which hurt, but. It's a good game. So Giggity Gaz, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm Excellent. full now because I've just had chicken and chips. Chicken and fries, eh? Chips. Fries? <coughs> now, what potato chips would you have with your chicken? Would it be the Smiths or Lay's? Do you guys have Lay's? I don't know. These was from uh, Marks and Spencer's. These was like... So, oh, so so when you open Marks up the bag of chips, to put, do you put the bag of chips on top of your chicken? Oh, so what do you do? do like we should put the chips on the side and put the chicken on the side. But why would you put potato chips with chicken? I don't understand it. Is it trying to be funny, Lee? I don't know. Are we talking about <laughs> chips as in fries or chips as in crisps? No, no, it's French fries, right? But chips. they have they have potato chips. They put potato chips like Doritos or Lay's. They put that on their chicken, apparently, according why to guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing a gap in communication. <laughs> well, we still got three minutes. Yeah. Jam out. We need some music. Oh, I got it on. Turn it on, dude. It's, it's great. Yeah. You, you know they're crisps. Who knows they're crisps? You, you do. You know they're crisps. No. No, there's no... There, the, even mum says they're crisps. <laughs> you you Mum, Mumsy, you look wonderful today. Don't block your face. It's all good. We're happy to have you today. She's very shy. It's understandable. I'm shy as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, sure. It's only because you have a bag <laughs> of chips with your chicken. That's weird. <laughs> We don't have a bag of chips. We put the chips on the plate with the chicken. Oh, so you take them out of the bag. So you just open them up, take them out, and put them on the side of the plate. Yeah. Oh, All right. So, so Gaz is right. Potato chips with chicken. You just put them on the side of the plate. Yeah. Chips and chicken. Chicken and chips. Oh, now right. what flavor chips? So they probably do salt and vinegar. Pot. Do you do Doritos? No. No. It's Lee, help me out here. No, you're on your <laughs> <laughs> They're chips. Right. There's a bag of chips. Chips, yes. Yes. A ba- Thank you. So yes. are they Doritos? Arguing with Paul, he will twist Can we just all stop? your words. Are they Doritos? Yeah. Are they Lay's? What other flavors do you guys have in the UK? Paul, oh, you've just you've just gone live. I've been live <laughs> for the last Look. nine minutes. No, you think or eight minutes. No, I'm not. Nobody shows up for you. There, look. There's French fries, guess. That's called French fries. Yeah, but we, we've got French fries in McDonald's and KFC, but we've got also got chips. Yeah, we have bags of chips right there. Lighty, that's chips. That's chips right, right there, guess. That's chips. Look, guess right there. That's chips. That's crisps. That's chips. That's, crisps. that's chips. <laughs> classic. Show you a bag of chips. chips. Like it literally yeah. says classic on the bag. Don't want a map. Guys, don't argue with Canadian. Never. You will just all your words. Especially a stubborn old goat like me. Now, can Mumsy hear me, uh, I James? Mumsy can hear you. Yes. She's screaming crisps at you. No, she she wouldn't do that to me. Not you to would. No, see? She, hey, she, did anybody else notice that McDonald's has waffle fries now? Yes, I heard that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear about that. I, I haven't seen them. All right, so Gaz, thank you for showing me French fries. It could be with us, the date We're live, aren't we? <laughs> so I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> well, no, especially with James's mom there. You watch your mouth, mister. My, my mom wants to know if you've ever eaten moose. Um, I have moose tried is, moose meat. Moose is okay. I have tried moose meat. It was ground. Okay, it's a little dry. Yes. It's really more dry. It's it's ground moose meat is what I had, not like a moose steak or anything. Yeah, like that. that's oh. what I had too. Oh, James with the ferro cut. Okay, I got the oh, oh the sunk is zero. Have the tea. All right, you guys ready? We got seven seconds. What's that, guys? Pepsi Zero. 
I know, it's just Pepsi Max. Oh, nice. It's normal Pepsi Max. I'm sure Lights has got the coffee. Lee? No, I haven't got anything. Bye. Bye, Mom. See you. Yes, bye. See you later. All right, here we go. And see, Lee, I would treat your mom with the same respect, my man. I'm just throwing that out there. So here we go. Okay. Hey, welcome to the Gamers Pass Podcast Level 47, where us gamers get together and chat and chill and make fun of each other and have a good time especially about chicken and chips it's really weird that we have the uk in kind of like an l shape and then we've got north america in the bottom part we're like tetris right now if you look at it uk and north america tetris piece fit right in there perfectly this is really good joining us today is a to z of game and giggity gas how are you sir What's this? Don't talk to me. Gaze. Don't talk to me. Gaze. <laughs> Gaz said Please. not to talk to me because. Don't talk to me. <laughs> because he he has French fries with chicken, which is fine. But he also said he has bags of chips like Doritos or or Lay's or something like that with chicken. It's kind of weird, but I but you tweets their own. Like, what type of chicken did you have today, Gaz? Uh, it's the the chicken kind. Oh, okay, how was it prepared, Gaz? I should have been a little more specific. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, I like, I like breast. I do I like too. Breast. But what type of chicken? No, how was it prepared? Oh, what do you mean? How was it prepared? It was cooked in the oven. <laughs> okay. So it was baked, but like, was did you have like a crispy coating on it, like chicken oh, no, baked? It was was it like barbecue? Just plain. Okay. It was just a plain chicken breast. So I do we're, like we're, we're, not, we're not interrogating you. Just no, answer the question. I do want to say I've though, got a light on one. Gaz just purposely wanted to say how much he liked breast on stream. That that's all it was right there. Well, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just like chicken breast. You don't have to enjoy it that much. I, I... Gaz, I what have you been playing this week, dude? What have you been playing? Especially well done. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, Among Us. That's oh, okay. it this week. Because I, I haven't been on again much this week. What do you mean? What? You haven't been on much this week? No. What have I haven't you been, been doing? doing much. I've just been on Among Us. Okay. What have you been doing with yourself? It's exciting. Uh, I've been watching this um, <clears throat> court case with uh, Johnny and Amber. All right. So <clears throat> Lightsy was on the call <throat> early, and I joined Lightsy <laughs> early, and I started watching clips on Twitch today. And with all honesty, I would spend all day talking about this just to hear your guys' opinions. So, um, anyways, we won't do that. But uh, that's you've honestly pinned out your community, especially me, so you could watch Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Not when you say like that. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Thank I mean... you for recognizing. <laughs> well, I just you know, it's like um, it's like a Netflix series. You know, when you watch one episode. And you gotta watch another. You just gotta keep another. going back for more. That's what yeah. I was doing this morning. I yeah. like Lightsy. Yeah. I saw Lightsy on the call, and I was like, I just gotta finish this video, and then I, I gotta finish this video. I just <laughs> just clips. It's it is. Anyways, it's especially a especially no Amber Heard's on the on the bench. You want to hear what it says? Oh, it's it's nightmarish. Yeah. It is, and everything you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome all right so basically a gamers us. pass podcast everyone oh no no <laughs> lee we got to get this movie one going and with all honesty i want to get it going now so because we're missing out on some good fun stuff so all right oh, yeah. also joining we've got lee roy jenkins lee what have you been playing and how are you doing sir uh i'm doing all right um uh i've been there's a couple of things i've been playing um one i've been finishing a campaign for dawn of war which was which is a game that came out like like so long ago um but it was a, a game that i grew up with sure and um and uh and i quite enjoyed so so i, I completed the campaign for that and also um uh i got well i got it for a friend who can play it because i can't right now um the lego star wars skywalker saga and uh we're playing some of that nice so what i've and i think i told james this last week is what i've decided to do is not play the game until all the dlc is out 
because I started the game uh, and then like all of a sudden, oh, we've got the there's the Mandalorian season two, like yeah, yeah DL- like this DLC bad, bad packs DLC. out now. Yeah, so I'm just yeah. like, well, why don't I wait until it's all done and then I'll jump right into it because I love it. It's really cool. It's robust. Uh, it's almost like saying I like breasts. Like it's incredible, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Lee? Um, outside of that, no, no. Excellent. All right. Also joining a special guest star this week, it is Jam Master James. James, how are you? And what have you been playing this week? I've been pretty good. Been playing a weird, random cacophony of games. Um, I downloaded the new uh, tower defense game that came out on Xbox a couple of days ago. Actually, it was Ooh. yesterday. Elemental. Uh, no, sorry, two days ago. Elemental War Two. Okay, I'm I not like really tower defense. Tower defense games, but um, this one looked good. It's it's interesting, um, but yeah, w- will it get a lot of playtime? Probably not, as it's is is it feels a bit rough. But you know, it's only been out a few days, so maybe they'll put some patches in. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I've been I've been playing that. Also been playing a bit of uh, Gears of War with you chaps, as you know. Um, I do need to try the game. Games Pass. I've got it installed, which I'm going to play later today. That Trek to Yomi. Game. Yes, it's everybody's loving yeah. it, James. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to give that a go. I've also been playing some Sniper Elite. That's. It's really making me look forward to Sniper Elite Five. Which comes sure. In Eighteen days. Oh, okay, which, cool. Uh, it's really good. I've also been taking a few trips down memory lane and just revisiting some of the old games. <laughs> I've still got my original PlayStation hooked up, so I was trying some things on that. The trouble is, a system that's designed for like 15 inch CRTs, playing it on a big 55 inch, yeah, you know, screen, they look terrible. That's true. That's so pixelated. So I've been wondering, you know, should I get just an old CRT monitor that I could put somewhere? But I've got nowhere to put it, so you know, you, you get back to square one. You really you really need a cool game room that you can have these old monitors that were designed for these old systems. So you should get a connector that um allows you allows the translation whatever to a larger big bum screen. Yep, that is called a frame meister. And that costs about four hundred pounds, which would be oh, about seven hundred pounds no. Canadian. There's cheaper ones. There's way cheaper ones. I've I've got a cheaper one, but it's crap. It's it's. Is you, it really? Wow. Yeah, you you are, I've got a thing where you you flip a switch and it kind of converts the old signal, um, to a new signal that goes, but it doesn't really do anything. Okay. You know, it, it's it's the same as getting a PS3 and turning on the smoothing option oh, if you remember that for older yeah. games. It still looks pixelated, but it's a bit better. Nice. You, you, you really need to invest in these really expensive things if you want to do that. Whereas I could just pay 60, 50 quid for an old CRT monitor, you know, sure. for the same result. Okay. All right. Uh, and joining us as well, as always, Lightsy. Lightsy, how are you? Where you've been playing? Um, well, I mean, this week has been a week okay. for... Uh, my mouth. <laughs> your, your mouth. Got a pretty mouth. Yeah. Uh, well, started last week, you know, I had some mouth pain and um, had a bit of a tooth infection. And then Tuesday came and a chunk of my tooth fell out and then there was no more pain anymore. <clears throat> okay. And then Friday. No, was it Friday? What was it yesterday? Streaming? Yesterday. Yesterday. I had more, another chunk of tooth come out wow, okay, again. Okay. So now I have half of a tooth in my mouth, and my dentist appointment isn't until the 20th. Yikes, that sucks. <laughs> um, in, to, in regards of what I've been playing, it's been a lot of sims this week and i played a little bit of um valheim the other day and fall guys last night oh how did that go that was pretty fun caleb joined us for some games and 
it went well. We got a win. Okay, cool. Squads. Wow. All right. Uh, Mark, Ultimate Hater 87, so good to see you. How are you, and what have you been playing? I'm doing good. Uh, so this week I've been playing a little bit of Among Us. Um, I haven't played Fortnite this week. I've been meaning to turn that on. I played some Warzone and some MLB The Show. Continuing my uh, uh, my road to the show character. Okay, excellent. And that that's that's pretty much it, eh? Yeah, that is pretty much it. I might download that game that that y'all keep on talking about on Xbox and okay. And, uh, see what playstation drops but i i gotta say i'll take a couple seconds before we jump into the gaming news is the trek to yomi or yomi or yomi whatever it is is phenomenal the story itself is kind of kind of generic we'll say um but the gameplay is really cool and the graphically it's gorgeous it is so amazing it's black and white when it's raining it's really cool all that stuff I'm playing it on story, so it's super easy to kill, whatever. But I guarantee if you jacked up the difficulty a little, you'd you'd want to punch your screen. Because I, I am getting wrecked on somewhat, just on super easy story mode. I haven't died yet, but like, oh my, I'm just like, freak off. Let me just hit you and slice you. So it's really, it's a really cool game. I like it. I think it's awesome. And I, I want to dive right back in. It is, it is cool. But uh, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of new for me. You guys already know what I've been playing. And so, yeah, we're rocking her. So, let's jump into gaming news. Let's get this going right away. Did you guys see that Microsoft is giving away 12 Lego Star Wars Xbox Series S consoles? No. If you guys have if you guys have a second, either check my Twitter or check Xbox. So all you have to do is to get involved, you need to retweet the official Xbox tweet along with the hashtags Lego Star Wars Xbox sweepstakes and um what's it? What's this? Twitter. Yep. And then oh, May the sorry, Lay. And then it's like <laughs> hashtag X May the fourth. It is phenomenal. They look incredible, Gaz. I don't know if you've seen them yet. But I'm just gonna have a look now. They are beautiful. Even Google it. Google the uh Xbox Series X uh, S uh, Lego Star Wars. They are cool. All different colors. There's one Star Wars Lego character per console. So you got the Darth Vader, the Luke, the Kylo Ren, which like the Disney ones are James's favorite. So you can actually do all of those. So it's they're gorgeous. And so oh, I do look good. don't they though? It's super cool. Especially you're a yeah. giant Lego dude. Not saying you're like huge person itself, just like you really like Legos, what I'm referring to. And so it, it would be really awesome to actually win something like that. I think that'd be super cool. So so is the console actually made out of Lego, or is it? I, I don't I don't think so, but that would be cool. It could it could handle it, right? If you stack um, Legos on top of each other, those ammers are super strong. You step yeah, on that, it, it's no breaking. Yeah, but it would be that. much more expensive. That look yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. Mark, what were you gonna say? I want that Luke Skywalker one. Doesn't that look cool? That's the best looking one. <laughs> and lights easy yawning already. Come on, guys. Star Wars, Lego, come on. <laughs> Uh, it's it's fantastic. It's not the look. So it's got a paw on her. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Yeah. So just <laughs> just retweet it. That's all you got to do. Uh, do a quote retweet. I assume. <clears throat> but I definitely definitely want one. Uh, is are you guys interested in something like that, Lightsey? Let's go to you because I know how much of a Star Wars slash Lego fan you are. Is this something you'd be interested in winning? If it was Animal Crossing. Yeah, Lego and Animal Crossing. Not yet. I imagine someday Nintendo will sell to Microsoft, but we'll we'll see what happens with that. But <clears throat> or join together, join forces, and together rule the earth. One sec. Okay, so let's jump in to this because I want you guys all to hear it. Uh, I want, or actually, I want all your input. Now, Lightsey, I understand you're not a Call of Duty fan, but we got to do a little bit of Call of Duty stuff here. So Activision blames its own execution for Call of Duty Vanguard's poor reception. Uh, they said, and that's pretty crazy, uh, the, the game's World War II setting also takes some of the blame as the company believes players weren't really after that experience again. Uh, Mark, let me go to you. You've played Vanguard, right? Yeah. What are your thoughts and what do you think of Activision actually owning up and saying poor execution? 
Oh, uh, well, the campaign in general, just the campaign in Vanguard is terrible. Uh, the online multiplayer is fine to me. I think the big problem is what everyone's complaining about is, even though it's not saying specifically, is Warzone. That, the Caldera map. I think the Caldera map is, is what's giving people the bad taste in their mouth. Wow. About uh, about Vanguard because Vanguard and that new map go hand in hand because it's you know based off of World War Two and that kind of environment. But so I think that's what the big problem is for for Vanguard. Uh, but the campaign itself is it's it's not good. It's not good. I played through it and it's kind of boring, and um, I've lost interest in it. So okay. uh, normally I go back and replay a campaign but that one that one was actually a struggle to get through so all right gaz i know you've played vanguard and it's one of your top five uh, favorites of all time give me your breakdown on vanguard uh i wouldn't say vanguard was my favorite one sarcastic You're trying to be funny now, aren't you? yeah i certainly <laughs> am i'm so sorry <laughs> um i'm not a, yeah i'm not a big fan of vanguard uh, to be honest i'm close to deleting it again Wow, okay. For the millionth time. <laughs> and keeping Warzone. So wh why do you keep going back to Vanguard? Is it because it's the latest entry into I Call of Duty? I think it is, yeah. And there's new maps added as well. Brand okay. new maps added. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like loads of maps. Okay. Like a couple, isn't that? So, I mean, they're more right, but they're a bit campy. All right. And Not so, that I'm a camper. So what about Activision owning up as their own execution? That is the reason. I don't know anything about it. All right. No, that's I, I have, cool. Like I said, I haven't been on for a, for a few days. Sure, for a few so, days. Okay, cool. I don't know. All right, James, have you played Vanguard? Do you have Vanguard? I know you are a Call of Duty fan of sorts. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the zombies. Sure, yeah. I, I don't care about multiplayer or campaign. I've always loved the zombies in Treyarch games. But Vanguard is terrible for a multitude of different reasons. Um, if you've played the older zombies and then you play the Vanguard zombies, you'll instantly see why. The The maps are not thought out. There's not as much detail. The story is convoluted and confusing. The recipe of why zombies worked was thrown out. Um, for, example, you, for example, using Black Ops 3 as an example, you had a perk system, and then they introduced what they called gobble gums. If you haven't played zombies, you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, they're, they're things that let you power up so you can carry on for longer um, without dying. And then they threw all of that out and changed the system in a in a weird, rushed way without any testing. And okay. everyone hates it. And, you know, there, there's a lot of little things as well. Like, for example... There's no achievements for, you know, doing... Each Zombies map has what they call an Easter egg, which is a very complex and difficult thing to do. And if you do that, you know, you get a reward. You, you know, it's you get a cutscene, an ending cutscene, and you get an achievement. But they don't have that in Vanguard. They don't have the rewards for doing any of the difficult things. And the things that are there, you know, there were bugs and glitches and things. So it's... They've royally messed up, and that's just what I know of the zombies. I have no idea about the campaign and multiplayer, but it sounds like it's not just a zombies isolated problem. And I think that's because um, a lot of it is they're moving away from the conventional stuff because they've realised what a cash cow their war zone is, and they don't give the development time. Uh, they don't give the development team enough time. Right. They they were regimental about their one year release cycle. You know, to make a triple-A game as complex as that, you know, there's only so much work the team can do in a year. Yes, to be fair, though, it's three It's three companies making... So it's like Treyarch for this year, or and then it's another, whatever the other one is, and then another one, isn't it? Um, usually, but I believe this time it started with another one and then Treyarch took over because oh. of issues. So it's... You know that they're kind of building on other things, so that you know that tells you everything, doesn't it? All right, Big Casino said he loved the campaign and multiplayer on Vanguard. Wow, okay, a lot of people I like from what I read really can't stand Vanguard. Uh, Lee, are I mean, you like go ahead? I know very little about Vanguard, but that's 
possibly because it was so badly executed um like in terms of like it hasn't received the 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 publicity that it needed or something like that um because it just generally wasn't as good perhaps um i personally i just don't know a lot about it but i think um that activision um like sort of owning up to it and saying look we messed up um we'll we'll um will do better next time like i think is a is a big step because you don't really get like massive companies and whatever they you don't really see them owning up to things that they've done wrong um, right. and they, they normally blame it on something else like sure. something else that's going on in the world i wonder rather than looking at themselves i wonder if this is going to be the new norm now where companies are just you know what i'm sorry <laughs> we suck i no, do apologize I, I, I don't think they I don't think it's going to be the norm. Um, I think this is this. It's really sort of going to be a one-off. <laughs> but well, um, well, look at CD Projekt Red. We've acknowledged it. We have CD what? CD Projekt Red, who kind of started the new brigade of crap. We're sorry with Cyberpunk, Battlefield twenty forty two, um, EA exec kind of owned up and just said, you know what, we we messed up, and now we've got uh, whoever it was Activision Blizzard or or whatever saying. Uh, our own execution. So I'm almost wondering if now, if they've learned from CD product red, like they're legit. They're like, you know what? We really, really messed up everything. We're so sorry. And I'm just wondering if these other companies are going to start milking that with, for the fans kind of save face. <clears throat> I don't know. It, it's Maybe. just, I mean, you'll, you'll eventually get to a point where it's like, like stop apologizing and just get it right yeah like, exactly in, instead of instead of getting it wrong and trying to trying to kiss our feet and like it's, no take us back and it's like no just get it right yeah exactly but um but i think the odd one where it's they like can only, they can only keep saying um we'll do better next time <laughs> for so yes. long exactly it's yes like because, if they because... keep if they keep making mistakes and mm. they're not doing better the next time and then so yeah, let me let me throw this curveball in here then um so look at the new nintendo uh, the switch sports game it is apparently it is such a basic terror like it's it's all right but like it's getting six out of tens that even like let's say the bowling everybody wanted bowling for the wii sports or, or onto the switch there's only one mode you can do the hundred pin bowling, all of that stuff, and even all of the games like golf and a couple others. They're they're not even going to be here until fall. So is it to the point where these the companies just don't give a crap anymore, and they're just like, here we're going to give you a basic tier. This is what you get, and then we'll add free DLC later in later in the year or later in the future. Is this kind of where we're going to go? Well, yeah, well, if it's free stuff well, later. later. If it's free stuff later, then it's sort of it's not all that bad because it means it's like right, we got this ready for you now. We'll give you that, you can sort of pay the full amount now. This is what you're going to get for now. But when we finish up the other stuff, enjoy that while you're waiting, and then we'll we'll churn out the other stuff for free. Yeah, right? but that if it, if they do that right, and what they give you now is kind of lackluster. That's what to I'm a saying. Point, and yeah. they're making you pay full price yeah. and then waiting for more stuff. And if that itself, when it comes out, is still lackluster and not worth the, the yeah. price of the game, like. Games are expensive. Every Nintendo game is super expensive. And uh, if, if this is what we're getting, like, if, if this just seems to be, like, for this, for this gen Xbox Series X. The PS5, if this gen is going to be where we're just going to release half-hearted messes, it's going to kind of suck. And uh, it's going to kind of suck really bad, to be honest. Gaz, what are your thoughts, my man? I want to hear from Gaz. Well, all I, well, I was... You mean about the Nintendo or COD? Sure. Both. Because it, it's kind of the subject where these execs are apologizing. They're giving half-hearted uh, efforts into their games, but taking all your money. Well, personally, with with Nintendo Switch, the the Wii Sports, it's 
it sounds like, I'm not saying it is, it sounds like they've rushed it out. But by the way, you've got free DLC coming, so be happy with that. Yeah. Right? With COD, if you want to play Vanguard, play World War Two instead. Because World War Two is way better than Vanguard. Wow. It feels better. It plays better. Um, they're more ways updating the servers on that game. So, it, like with Vanguard, you report it and like two two million years later they do the update for it you gotta wait <laughs> ages for vanguard but with world war Two, the updates within a couple of days it's playable again wow it's um, yeah it's it's almost a sad day <laughs> with all this crazy stuff happening call of duty has such a rich history of amazing games uh with kind of like oops this this edition is not as good um but like i the franchise is still holds a like fond memories in my heart for me once they released black ops i was kind of like Ugh. but i know people love black ops one and two uh, black ops two is wicked yeah i, I can't i mm-hmm. i don't like it <laughs> i was not a fan but it's all good all right so let's move on then now this is this is all seems to be now our main topic is going to be mainly about playstation guys so hang tight my man but more Xbox stuff, okay? We got more Xbox stuff. So one of the things here is Microsoft's Xbox Everywhere initiative to reportedly include streaming puck for TVs. So everybody knows that cloud-based gaming and the cloud streaming of video games, which overall really works decently for Xbox. There was, a, there was time a few months ago uh, Steph was watching American Idol. I was like, I want to play some Minecraft Dungeons. So I grabbed my iPad, signed in, and I synced my Xbox Series X controller to my iPad and was playing games on my Xbox or cloud-based gaming, whatever, the streaming service, uh, while she was watching American Idol. And it, it was overall, there was a little bit of latency. It's still in beta. Uh, but right now, apparently, there's going to be a streaming puck or like an Android device, I guess, to, to cause a relate a relation to. The streaming puck in the Xbox Cloud Gaming app for Samsung TVs should be set to launch within the next 12 months. Streaming puck is part of the Xbox Everywhere initiative, which also includes confirmed plans for TV apps, along with the ability to play all of your owned Xbox games via the xCloud service. James, you are an Xbox... Oh, Lysi. Can't you stream stuff and watch TV from the Xbox itself already? <laughs> so what's the point of having a puck if your Xbox can do it? Good question. So your Xbox can kind of do that, but not to the specifics you're saying. So what this is, instead of buying an Xbox Series X or buying an Xbox Series S, you just have this small puck. That basically is an in-between from the cloud-based service, all their games that you can play through a live stream. And so you're streaming from this puck through the internet in the cloud, the game to your either TV or, or whatever device you hook it up to. So you won't need an Xbox, but you can still have Xbox Game Pass and play all those games on your, on your uh, TV with the uh, puck. See what I'm saying? You have an Xbox. Why would you need the puck? What I'm, what I'm saying is for those who don't have an Xbox. So I had to pay seven hundred dollars for my first Xbox Series X, and then since the, everything was scarce, they had to bundle crap just to sell, uh, cause us to spend more money. So my second Xbox Series X cost me eight hundred dollars, just to have a powerful system. Great, but if I was Let's say I wanted to go somewheres or I never had an Xbox at all. I could buy this little puck that utilizes the interwebs and stream a game right to my TV that way. Do you see what I'm saying? Lights is confused. <laughs> I think I think like I think it works in, in a way. Like for those who for those who want the Xbox experience without having to invest so much Mm. into it like like because what xbox are really doing is they're trying to sell the 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 game pass and and really that's what's bringing in the money for them more so than possibly the consoles 
Um, and and what the the game pass provides is loyalty in that sense so if you and, think um, about the potential i think that's important so this x cloud gaming and the potential of selling a super cheap like a hundred dollars or 75 dollars or so you buy a tv and that app is right there on your tv and you can just stream games there that's incredible that opens up the door for millions upon millions of people to get into the Xbox ecosystem. Anybody disagree? No, I think I think you're on point there. Guess? I th- I think it's more for casual gamers though. Okay. And people that travel. Already? No, hey, that that makes sense. Which Firstly, which I is quite know. a wide which is quite a wide market. Right. So I think mm. it's quite like important to be able to touch base with that. Now for me, I don't want any latency at all. So if I grab my controller and I push up, I need it to go up instantly. If there's going to be a little bit of latency, a little bit of lag, that's going to drive me crazy. I'm well, just like you said, it's in beta. So it is in beta. Still, they're still working out the problems with that. If they can perfect this, this changes the game for Xbox. It is incredible. Is it Ethernet or Wi-Fi? Uh, uh, it would probably be both. I would have to have Ethernet. Or yeah. as the I UK would, call it, I it, Ethernet, right? Is, is it Ether or Ether? I don't know. Ether. 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 Yeah. Ethernet. Ether. Ether. It's Ethernet. okay. I still love you British folk. It's all good. <laughs> Come like, the name Ethan, you don't call them Ethans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ethans. Ethernet. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> like, see, any other questions? So, like, with that, like, do you see what we're talking about? Yeah, I get it. All right, Mark, how about you? Any <laughs> feedback on that? Lights, he's like, I just don't care. I'm tired. Um, I mean, I mean, I got an Xbox, so I wouldn't need it, but I, I, I understand the idea behind it, and and it actually works it works out pretty good. For a, I should have grabbed that toy from. That's me. okay, man. Um, Keep going. It's all good. So I understand the concept of it, and I actually think it's a really good thing. It's going to bring a lot more attention to the Xbox Game Pass and and show its superiority over Nintendo and uh, PlayStation. Um, I mean, Xbox is making everything as friendly as possible. Yeah. For 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 gamers, and and I I can appreciate appreciate that they're trying to bring in new new people to the market. I mean. It's a wonderful idea and wonderful concept, you know, for people that um, can't afford, uh, you know, a seven hundred dollars system um, at these prices right now for what they're going for. You know, it gives them an option to be able to just get the Game Pass and, you know, get a controller or something and get going. So I think it's a great idea. Sure, James. Any thoughts? Yes, I think it's brilliant. I I just have a feeling that some execs in Microsoft or Xbox are like, how can we break into the portable market? We don't want to. We don't want to make a handheld system. But what's the what's the closest thing we can do that's, you know, future proof? Well, there's cloud gaming, you know, and that's they've, they've here gone to stay. That route, you know. Yep. And I th- I think it's brilliant. You know, even as a convenience feature, not having to install games. Right. So, you know, yeah, I think it's, I think Microsoft's thinking ahead for the oh, next yeah. five, ten years. You know, they're not thinking about how this is going to work in six months. They're thinking ahead, which is brilliant. And this is the sort of stuff that PlayStation used to do, you know, and, and sorry, guys, but, you know, it's, it's I'm like, just ignoring you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, gosh, they're, yes. they're thinking ahead, and I, I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, Lighty? Does Microsoft not already have like one of those um, Cortana or Alexa or Siri or one of those built in, right? Yeah, they. It's Cortana, right? Yeah, it's Cortana. Yeah, Cortana. So basically, this is going to be. Um, like the Google Home of Cortana, basically. Huh. Kind of like a multi-entertainment system. 
with all those, you know, selling points attached. I wonder. It's, yeah, maybe. Good point. It opens up all these possibilities, doesn't it? So I, I agree with Gaz in the sense, like, overall, it's it's probably probably just it wouldn't be for me overall i i could see myself taking it on a trip though plug it into my tv or something like that uh but like i i want i want that hardcore experience as as a gamer but i this is this is a phenomenal thing but yeah lightsy i don't know maybe it'd be like an android box where it's cortana and you you can download all your apps including uh the xbox cloud service uh, but James, you're right too. They're they're looking to the future, and they're seeing they're seeing stuff that most of us are still stuck on the console, the TV, and your controller. Mm-hmm. And I've dabbled a bit on playing a game on my iPad. Uh, overall, the experience was good, but yeah, it's still in beta, and uh, it's it's pretty exciting. It's it's a different kind of portability that like Nintendo doesn't provide. Um, because Nintendo's fairly known for making like portable consoles, but the uh, but the this this port seems like a different seems like a different route to get there, um, without necessarily buying a console at all, but right. more but more the um, the 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 Game Pass. Yeah, I. I... I would love to see, let's say this is launching in the next 12 months. Let's give it 18 months and let's see how much Game Pass increases incredibly with the amount of subscribers. Mm-hmm. It's going to be mind blowing. Uh, but if you, if you, all the stuff we've been talking about over the last year, I guess, uh, we're starting to see Xbox really, really be consumer friendly, developer friendly, and overall just like, hey, this is the best place to game. Come chill. Uh, where we're seeing the other two companies maybe not being so friendly, kind of doing some shoddy things. Uh, and guess I, I, this is not to tease you about PlayStation or anything like that, because we've talked about PlayStation on uh, when that lawsuit happened uh, or, or late last year, and all of these things came out about the PlayStation ecosystem on how they treat their indie devs and uh, the amount of money they got to pay and all that stuff. That's pretty crappy, uh, and it's just. Xbox is swinging for the fence. It almost seems like it's, it's like home run or nothing. And they're doing everything possible to accommodate you and me. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing, guys. Thank you. Lightsy, you, you got an Xbox, right? Do you have a Series S, is it? You don't I, have an Xbox? I, no, not anymore. I had a Xbox One, One. Slim. Okay, okay. So... So you could buy this device with the puck. I, I'm I'm doing circle because that's basically what a puck is. It's round. Why are you so, doing that then? Uh, well, this oh. goes to Lightsy as well. <laughs> Lightsy, this goes to you. Uh, so I I just assume that like let's say for you like you won't have seven hundred bucks to just slap down to buy an Xbox to play with everybody, but you would have this puck that is so much cheaper. To join in everybody else's computer, you'd have the computer, right? But let's just say some games that aren't, uh, that aren't cross-platform or anything like that that you could join in. Just, just. um, I would question if having the puck would make it cross-platform as well. Sure, I know what you're saying, but. I don't know. I'm excited. I, I I I already have a Google Home. I don't need another. <laughs> you don't need a Cortana Home. <laughs> no. Well, if she looks the way she does in Halo, we all need a Cortana Home. If oh. she was a hollow like that, we wouldn't be paying forty five dollars. <laughs> no, that's right. Uh, do you, look at this. Do you ever play in the nude or just smoke weed and eat and fart all day on the couch? Hmm. I don't know. I I, I wanted to address this question. Uh, do you ever play in the nude? I do not. Uh, I don't smoke weed, uh, but I also eat and fart, and not all day, but I do on the couch. And Lightsy just said yes, so let's just <laughs> we address that. Thank you, moms. <laughs> me, mom. All right, thank you, moms. Thank we, you. We we got both sides of the coin right there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You do what you got to do. Listen, if if that makes you happy to play in the nude, smoke weed, eat and fart all day on the couch, then do it. Have a good day. Have a good life. Enjoy your life. 
Who cares? I've done that before. Yeah, who cares? Really life, to be honest. No, well, no. If you're if you enjoy it, though, like take let's let's just go off on a tangent here. You could do all that stuff and enjoy your day, or you could troll on Twitch and ask the stupid questions, right? Which True. really is the worst life? Some douche canoe on Twitch, or somebody actually yeah. enjoying their Probably life. Probably not the even couch. sitting there naked behind the computer, and they're like wearing some slobby ass dirty <laughs> clothing in their mother's basement sure enjoy your life it's Thanks all good it. do what you gotta do all right let's move on thank you so much moms i appreciate it and we basically just smacked you across the face right there you're probably too stupid to clue in uh so e3 is e3 canceled i meant to i meant to google i thought they said it was canceled this year again but i'm not sure anyways i thought i saw that it was canceled hmm. Hold on, Beard of Fury subscribed tier one for the last five months. Thank you so much, Beard of Fury. You're amazing, sir. Okay, we usually don't interact with the chat during during the uh, podcast, but we do see every single message that pops up there. <laughs> just say, oh, nobody, this nobody's ever called this fat guy Turbo. Just as a heads up, moms. So here we go. And either way, whether E3 is happening or not, I'm it's cancelled. It, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. But oh, he's talking with his microphone like this, like he's actually. In I movie love movie. it. We're here live with James Mucklin. Um, so Xbox is still going to do their thing on June twelfth at ten a.m. Pacific, which is one p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to have to pin out Crystal. I'm just saying because we're going to have to live watch this event. Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase takes place on June 12th, and it's at least or around 90 minutes long, which is amazing. I'm looking forward. I love E3. I've, I've loved E3 from years ago. I used to take time off work to watch E3, or if I could actually sneak and watch E3 while working, I would do it because it was so awesome. I love E3. Gaz, are you an E3 fan? I only watch E3 if they mention anything that I'm interested in, like COD or anything like that. But E3 is usually announcements, so you really don't know too much before that, mister. But we but we don't know anything about the new COD. I just want to say, A to C of gaming and the lack of E3 um, participation is hurtful. Honestly, I don't, I don't watch much E3. Oh, yes. A to Z, except for E3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. So we're, what we're going to have to do, guys, is we're going to force you to watch this Xbox event uh, when we do it. Me. It will be a podcast thing. So you will be forced to be here. I'm up for doing the podcast thing. Okay. No, we should. We got to do it, all right? I want to live okay. react. I'm going to do it anyways. I want you all to join me if you can. That would be cool. Yeah, all right. Um, so E3, I love it. James, do you participate in E3 at all? I love all of the gaming things. Um, I even watch the Nintendo one, as you know, I'm not a huge Nintendo. I just love, I love the energy. I love the atmosphere of, of watching these new things. Every year, I hope and pray for a new Dino Crisis, but I'm still disappointed. But, you know, c'est la vie. You know, it's... I, I, oh, I, I do love... <laughs> gaming events <laughs> me too man i i just love I didn't it know it was cancelled this year so thanks for crushing my soul i know but here's the thing a dream of mine would to go would be to go to e3 spend the entire weekend just soaking it all up being amongst thousands of sweaty nerds and just enjoying e3 i would love to You're do sitting it in. yeah I, I dream would be to go to blizzcon blizzcon would be cool uh just with the Activision Blizzard issues we've had over the last little while. I don't know if any ladies should go to BlizzCon. Just throwing that out there. But Lightsy, are you an E3 fan? I will watch what I'm interested in. Sure. But otherwise, I don't watch, like, the whole thing. I, I tune in. I, like, even if it's at the nighttime, like the stuff that's either like Ubisoft at night, EA in the evening, like all in the living room. The the last time they had it, uh, it was like me, uh, Isaiah, and um, Isaac. We're all just sitting there watching, getting all excited like crazy kids. I'm tweeting, going crazy. Lee, are you an E3 fan? Um, I mean, like, uh, re like more recently, yeah. Uh, of course, like you're still a young pup, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, aren't we all? Um, 
and uh, <laughs> yes, you are. And um, but yeah, I, I I think it's uh I think it's good. It's good to sort of touch base with the gaming community in like a like a yeah in like a really sort of fun way. It's like when the um when Fortnite does these events type thing, but it's for all gaming, pretty much. Um, so I think it's quite good. Excellent, Mark. How about you? Yeah, oh yeah, I love watching the E3 events and everything. See what's coming out. Um, you get some uh, new information on things, so uh, I enjoy them. Yeah, me too. I I just love it, and usually all of the other stuff as well. Um, all the other gaming events throughout the year. Uh, if there's something that's going to be shown, I'm going to watch it. So we need to get Gaz on the train here. The A to Z of um, Expo <laughs> Conference. <laughs> it's just exciting, Gaz. It really is. <laughs> And like just just especially when you share it with people just the, the sheer excitement that you're like what's coming up next and we've done the nintendo events on here all of that stuff and it's just it's really exciting all right mark this did you be a big oh go ahead oh uh, <laughs> the way you're going into mark but uh, i said i was about to say apparently there's supposed to be a big nintendo um showcase next month and that's where i was like a nintendo direct yeah that's where i was yeah, leading nintendo lightsy direct. perfect yeah that uh, lightsy opened up that segue for me perfectly that's where i was going is is the nintendo events we always watch but uh, i didn't know if we heard anything but mark is there any news or anything like that for nintendo that uh, that you have found or anything no i have not seen anything new on nintendo other than uh the wii sports um right. <clears throat> information which which i thought was kind of crappy but yeah um I think that's one way of keeping uh, your game like uh, attractive in, in a way where if you drop the eSport, I mean, the Wii Sports game out now, you know, everyone gets excited and plays it, then, you know, tosses it to the side. So they're going to release the DLC to bring the interest back in the game and stuff like that. So, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm not a fan of what Nintendo's trying to do with everything right now. I don't know. I, I check I check the websites I go through to prepare for this podcast, and I do Xbox sites, PlayStation sites, our news sites, and Nintendo news sites. And so what I do is I go through it all. Xbox takes a while. PlayStation takes a little bit shorter because usually it's just Elden Ring news, Elden Ring news, and Elden Ring news. And then Nintendo's is just like real super fast because really there's not much going on with Nintendo. Today's took a little bit longer because I watched a 25 minute video on why six out of ten for the Switch Sports was warranted, and I was disappointed because I still want to get the game, but I was like, well, might as well wait. But they never go on sale, so. Yeah, but you got Pac Man and Turtle of Time, whatever it was called, to keep you occupied. What game? Oh, oh, what? Turtle. Of Turtle, turtles in time? Is it Turtle on time? Oh, yeah. I, I beat it. So, last night. Turtles on time. Last night. What's that? What was it? This one's Pac-Man. Uh, this Pac -Man. one here is NBA. Oh, I don't want to move it, but NBA Jam. Let's see. NBA Jam. And so. So good. Oh, my gosh. And then yesterday, I put together the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which has the OG Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade and the Turtles in time. And so what we did with that is I beat it with Isaiah, the very first one. And then Isaac came, he got home from his party and I beat it with him after. And it was just a wonderful experience. He's freaking arcade games. So I'm going a little crazy. And so Father's Day is next uh, next month. I'm just saying. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. What... Um, I'm going to, um, there is a Cowabunga bundle coming out for the Turtles. I think it's, August? Yes. August, yeah, yeah, or it's... is it August or December? And it's got so many Turtle games on that they've brought out. Yes, yeah, yeah. We reported that uh, a couple weeks ago, yeah. which is super exciting. Also, that new Turtles game, The Shredder's Revenge, which is like the old school arcade game, is coming out later this year, which I will get day one. And I'll just need three other players on Xbox. I'm throwing a hint out there. I need three other people. Because I don't know if Crystal will get it. Uh, Turtle Power. I don't know if Crystal will be into it, so I'll have to do a day. I'll have to do it on like a Saturday when she's not around or when she spends time with her real family. So we'll have to do it during that. So, All right. Let's jump into our main topic. Our main topic is 
Uh, live service games. I don't know how much you guys like about live service games, uh, but I want to say Sony dumps funds into live service software firm. Now, guys, this is where you get to either cry or you can get excited, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? So here we go. So Sony dumps funds into live service software firm. This is the report. Sony loves live service games. We're yet to see the fruits of its labor, but apparently it has 10 Fortnite-esque ongoing multiplayer games in production. And it's just spent billions buying Bungie and investing into Epic Games. Now that the platform holders put his hands in the pocket once more, investing in software company, I think it's called Excelbyte or Excelbyte, essentially the startup is responsible for building back-end tools that can help power live service games, provides features like analytics, analytics, sorry, and in-game monetization and more. 10 Fortnite-esque games in development from Sony that's going to be a live game service. Um, what a live game service is for everybody who doesn't know, uh, a live service game is a type of video game that's designed to keep people engaged. So they play it for as long as possible. That means. That sounded like a game noise. So that was Pac-Man. <laughs> so that means that instead of making one game and moving on to the next, companies create a game that they can update for years to come. Now let me throw. I'll throw it like a, the new the Avengers game. That everybody hates. That is a game that's a live service game. Or the Destiny 2 is live service. And recently Sea of Thieves. So, 10 Fortnite S games, which is mind-blowing. Gaz, I want to go to you right away because you're the P PlayStation fanboy. There's, there's, too many, there's too many Battle Royale games and Xbox is just rubbish. <laughs> So there's there's too many battle royale games. You oh. can only play so many battle royale games. Why do you need ten more? This is from Sony, dude. But how, how are they going to differentiate ten more new different battle royale games? Oh, so just stick to Fortnite. That's all I'm. <laughs> so the thing is, oh, though, Warzone. is this is this is Sony's this is Sony's vision right now. Games as a live service, a game that, and not necessarily just a battle royal, but a game that they can just keep pumping updates for the rest of your life. Uh, the Avengers game. Did you guys play the Avengers game? Yes, it was terrible. It's not that there, fun. There was no content. The, the missions were very bland and boring. It felt unfinished. And they've shipped an unfinished game under the banner of live service. Right. And they charge an arm and a leg for DLC. Or uh, customization is what it is. And that's the Fortnite way, right? But the, the difference with Avengers and Fortnite is Avengers costs money to, to buy where Fortnite's free. and But you get all of this cosmetics and all of this stuff. So, Gaz, you are anti. You are anti this... Um, yeah. there's, right. only so many, there's only so many Battle Royale games that you can play. It's ridiculous. Sure. I think it, because Fortnite is doing well, they reckon... That can do this um call of duty um i don't know what else is there uh pokemon battle royale and yeah all that is just too much too many battle royale games just stick to what we've got already warzone fortnite um what else is there now there was something else what so, is it all right so let me give you a rundown yeah let me yeah. let me give you a rundown guys <laughs> oh, Lee, I see what you did there. So here's some here's some live service games. Warframe, Dota 2, apparently GTA Online is like that. Oath of Oath of Exile, uh, Call of Duty Warzone, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, League of Legends, Destiny League of Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Genshin Impact, Sea of Thieves. Those are considered live service games. World of Warcraft. Halo Infinite. Halo Halo Infinite is now a live service game. I don't know if World of Warcraft would be. That's because that's an MMO, right? Would that be considered? You have to pay a subscription every month. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, I get it. Um, League of Legends is completely free. Just heads up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Completely. Same. Warzone is free. Big Casino said he paid 80, 80 pounds for the Avengers. Uh, what a waste of money. I waited till it came to Game Pass, 80 pounds. When it came to Game Pass, I tried it out and I was like, okay, this is all right. And then as I played a little more, I was like, okay, this isn't so good. <laughs> and um, it's like I, I sort of missed the days where you could just buy a game and that was it. And you just, you bought the game and you got everything that came with it and that was it. You didn't you have to. Those days. You're too young for those days. <laughs> Yeah, but I I still have like, like fond memories of those like you know where you just you just got the game, and then you had the game like you you didn't have to to go around, oh well here's here's eighty percent of the game, but we'll give you the other twenty percent if you give us a little bit more money. It's like no, just give us the whole thing, finish the game properly, so that it's complete, and then release DLC like, after that. Well, no, no. <laughs> just, just give us the whole bundle. Just forget the DLC. Just do the whole thing. But if you, oh, go ahead, Lightsy. You don't have to raise your hand, girl. Just jump no, right I in. I know, but no. This is this is like a different, different thought. All right, yeah. So like, okay, wait, give it to me. Wait after you guys are talking. Nope. Do it. No, 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 no. You guys finish your thoughts because this is just this is just something else. I want to hear your thoughts, Lexi. You... I was just going to say a game that nobody ever thinks to be a live service game is Sims 4. Hmm. Explain that one to me. Um. I don't know. It, like, I just found an article here. Okay, no, but, no excellent. But like... They're always, um, they're always updating the game and adding new stuff into it and addressing issues. You know, they're always bringing out, like, adding in some new free content with, along with when they do their, like, seasonal. Well, how long has it been out? Sims 4 has been out for years, it's not. Sims 4 release. 2017, 2018. So we're going 20, to... September 2nd, 2014. What? 2014? All right. 2014. I think you're right. I think that would be considered as a uh, live service game. Trivia question. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I, I, think, I think that makes sense. That would be a uh, live service game. Wow. Okay, I would never even consider that. Just because it's not mainstream anymore, like it has its, yeah. it has its community. Uh, Mark, how about you? What live stream games? Yeah. Um, live service games. Live yeah. service. Oh, live live service games. I don't, I don't know. I was think, I'm still thinking back. Gaz said something about a Pokemon Battle Royale game. I've been thinking yeah. about that. That, that yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, I heard that oh. when I was in the bathroom. I'm like, I was like, I want that. I, I want a, I want a Pokemon Battle Royale game. Now my mind is stuck on that right now. <laughs> yeah. Get it trending on Twitter. Yes, ah. get that trending right now. Pokemon I want a Pokemon Royale. Battle Royale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It could be awesome. You could have like 150 Pokemon people exactly. in one. Everybody, each, everybody <laughs> is just a different Pokemon. The problem is, is I'm sure Fart Knights already has it in the works to have every single Pokemon as a character in this stupid game. So I got turtles <laughs> coming into Fortnite. Oh, no, uh, stop it. Why? I thought they already had some turtles. No, not yet. Why would my in. precious, precious turtles be inside Fortnite? Yeah, but you'd buy them, wouldn't you? No. Nope. You would. I have not spent money. I reckon you would. I guarantee I wouldn't. I, I couldn't switch out Chloe. I, I couldn't switch out Chloe. Or Zoe. I couldn't switch out Zoe. It's Zoe. Yeah, I couldn't switch out I can't even remember her name. Yeah, I know, You've been right? using that skin for like five years and you can't even remember get the name right. Hey, I've got the Funko Pop. Leave me alone. James, how about you? Live service games. I love the idea of a live service game. But I've been bitten twice in a row by it. Oh, do tell. Companies 
let me know if you guys agree or disagree with this, but I think live service games gives companies an excuse to ship unfinished games. Like, yeah, Sea of Thieves at the minute is really good. It's really fun. There's a lot of content. But if any of you played it, day one on release, it was boring. There, there were barely any quests. The PvP was broken, but you, you always forgive them, you know, the odd bug here and there. But it was very bland. It was There was just nothing. There, there are no quests like what you've got now. And what? Halo Infinite. I'm so disappointed with Halo Infinite. It launched a year delayed. It's had a six-year development cycle. And it's still a bland, you know, mess of stuff. They still can't, haven't even brought co-op into it. Because apparently they don't know how to make co-op work in an open world. Just look at any other open world game that exists, you know? Um, so six months, they've only just released their season two, which the only thing they've managed to seem to update is the store of cosmetic items. And I, I just think, why is this allowed to go... Because it's live service, it's coming, it's coming. You know... So it's really making me dislike live service games because it gives companies an excuse to ship half a game and then gradually import the bits that should have been there to start with but put it under the banner of look at all this extra content we've given you over the last two years. No, this is content that should have been there in day one. Right. I mean, could you imagine what happens if the next Grand Theft Auto game releases and it has barely any quests or content but they come along? And you look back at what was in GTA Five. Mm. You know, it's that's my opinion, and that's what's really making me dislike live service games. Sure, because companies are using it as an excuse. You know, oh, why work? You know, towards a six month deadline when we can just stretch it over two years. You know, and I think right. companies like Microsoft Game Studios should clamp down a little more. Like three four three Industries, what have they been doing since Halo? Five come out in 2015. You know, there were rumours that development didn't start getting underway um, until about a year before launch because they, they just slapped the banner of live service on it. Yep. You know? And Would you say that ago? Battlefield 2042 was a live service game or... No, no, I, I'd say that's just more of an online shooter because they're just going because okay. they're just going to stop development eventually here soon. Yeah. But so Lightsy, simple man, asks a game or ask a game, ask a question about Animal Crossing. Would that be considered a live service game? For the reasons he gave, I wouldn't say so. Um, yes, they did have plans to keep the game updated with new events for the first two years. They failed that, didn't they? Didn't they? A bit, yeah. But I don't know if I would go as far to say that they're a live service game. Okay. GTA Online. Yeah, that is considered a live service game. Our game. Because it's been going on for how long? Like 10 years? 8 years? Yeah. It's a great example of a live service. That's how a live service game could be. So you had GTA, which was a complete amazing game. Mm -hmm. And when, if you guys remember when GTA Online launched, it was very lackluster. It was, you know, heists took a long time to come in. Yep, it did. And it was, it was, you know, it was their first foray into it. But nobody really cared because the game, the base game was incredible. There wasn't anything missing. So anything that they've added is a bonus. And look, they've been able to go for so long and everyone is psyched when's the next one coming out when's the next one coming out whereas look at the other live service games and like you know and losing fans and thanks yeah. for the lights up you know, <laughs> it, that's it you know so yeah gta online is still going insanely strong mm -hmm. um destiny 2 i i just can't i can't get into it i i tried several times and i just can't i don't know what it is uh, I hate playing it by myself, like thoroughly despise it. Uh, even when Chris and I played it, it just it just didn't have that personal enjoyment for me. So 
Um, I, I guess it, it's all in the experience, like Overwatch, Apex Legends. I love Apex Legends. Any of you guys try Genshin Impact, which is free to play, but it's a service game? I tried it out when it first released um, back on the PlayStation, but like I was playing it to just try and get to the multiplayer aspect of it, and it, nah. Like I get, I get that it can be for some people, but I just, I don't know, not for me. So, guess how are your thoughts on? Because I, I see you're still wear, sporting the hat. Your precious PlayStation company is now really focused and doubling down. It seems on live service games. So, I know you have Xbox. I know you have Nintendo, and you most likely will be an Xboxer. And I appreciate you. Uh, I welcome you with open arms. Um, what do you, uh, just give it to me. Give me your final words then. Like, what what do you want from your PlayStation peeps? I don't know. Fortnite um, and Among Us because they're both free games and you can play them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't knock Among Us. I you know what oh, though? Hold I'm on. Among Us. Hold Among on. Among Us would be a live service game. So guess it's a great game too. So, Gaz, your two games that you stream, yeah. A to Z of Gaming, make sure you subscribe, follow Gaz, are free to play on pretty much everything, including mobile. And Among Us. Yes, Among Us and Fortnite. Those, those two games is what you mainly play in live stream, but they yeah. can be played on anything. So I think your PlayStation Allegiance is irrelevant. Yeah. Right, you can find me on YouTube. Which... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Mark... He's community friendly. Well, uh, and he talks behind our backs. I'm just saying. but <laughs> He's cross-platform oh. friendly. Yeah. He's, he's just cropped. He opens a bag of <laughs> potato chips to eat with chicken. So. <laughs> oh, he needs to put an M on his hat. It's not PS, it's PMS. Oh, no, that's true. Uh, so, Mark, any final words on the live service games for you? Is it mirrored image? Oh, it is. Yeah, every company should take a page out of uh, Grand Theft Auto's book. Uh, that's how you do a live service game. Obviously, uh, they're the ones that have done it the best, and they've done it right for all these years, and it continues to somehow be the most popular one, I believe. Huge, uh, yeah. So, so just take a page out of their book on how to keep things fresh and interesting. Um, and we need a Pokemon Battle Royal. <laughs> please, please. What about Red Dead Redemption Online service? Where is that? Red Dead Redemption uh, Two abandoned. I think. Well, I think. I think Red Dead Redemption Two was a just a hair slightly better. Like campaign game, story yeah. game over Grand, Grand Theft Auto uh, Five. However, Grand Theft Auto Online is way better than Red Dead Redemption Online. I think it's just probably because like the lack of of like cars and like massive explosions and stuff like that that you can do in uh, GTA Online. You know, you can just troll somebody and and blow their vehicles up and everything i mean there's a lot of highlight videos on that and yeah. the best red dead redemption highlight videos is if your horse falls over and you know you crash 30 feet in the air or something true yeah <laughs> i guess simple no lee <laughs> live service final words um the they can work they could also not work i mean like i can um, I can definitely see James's point of view um, with, it, with it being an, an excuse to, to get to finish the game. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, that's that's true, my general thoughts on it. Okay, Lighty. Final words um, on live service games. Um, I mean, I, I see James's point of them just you know, releasing it as unfinished games. But, you know, some people... Some people want, like, that storyline that has 
the definite end and have that yes. satisfaction of you know finishing a game and with these live service games you can't really do that because it's always being updated there's always going to be something else for you to do like it's not yeah i see what you're saying it doesn't have an end so those with commitment issues would not find this uh that that uh live service games too appealing overall i i'm one that wants to finish the game and be done with it and then i'm like I, we're also programmed in 2022 give me some extra dlc after i finish the story that's kind of where we're all at really mm -hmm. and but to open end it and then play a game oh i gotta wait six months for this update another month for this update two months for this it's it's a little much. You, I, I kind of move on by that point. For me, James. Like, oh, go ahead, Lacey. I was just going to say, like, I think that's why people don't think of The Sims as being a live service game so much. Because it's, like, it gets oh, uh, passed over in thinking. Because it's not really a multiplayer game where you're going, like, online and playing with somebody else in that aspect kind of thing you know yeah it's it's more single player based but we're still getting like updates every month every couple of weeks you know like sure okay all right james final words on live service games before we go to lee's trivia yeah i think the i think they could be really good but you've just got to be careful you know if you got, you know, you've seen companies use them as an excuse to ship unfinished games, and there will be more. You know, yeah. you can guarantee there's going to be more, and they'll say the updates come in with the next live service. Well, no, that's a core feature of the game. Why wasn't it in the base game? But right. you know, if if you know companies like GTA, uh, companies that make games like GTA have shown that it can be hugely successful. Oh they, yeah. GTA still has a player base that's been going strong since 2013. That's yeah. nine years. Yeah, it's, it's wild. And then you get other live service games that have just fallen by the wayside. And even with, you know, the content that comes out, they're never going to have this come back because people still feel salty. So if it's done well, then it's not an excuse. I think it could be a very profitable cash cow for a company. Yep. It depends on how they do it. Yeah, I play so many. I play so many different games. I just don't think I could commit to a uh, live service game overall. Um, out of all those ones listed, uh, I I love um, Apex Legends. I think that would be my favorite out of all of the ones that I had mentioned. But yeah, all right. League of Legends. There's a clip of you saying you like League of Legends. I liked the experience I had with the crew I was playing with. That's and but it was mistaken with the no, term. You said I Apex. like this game. I don't I don't think so. So there's no such clip out there. Delete it. All right. So <laughs> let's keep I'm gonna the, turn it into a stream words card. Let's keep it picking it uh, picking on Gaz and not me. All right. So here we go. Um all right. <laughs> uh Lee, you bag of chip eater with chicken. What do do we got trivia today? I mean, you don't have to make it personal. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, I'm at 18. Mark is at 16. Lightsy's at 11. Gaz is at 10. And James, when you had joined uh, last time, I think Lee kind of just said, you know what, I don't want to hang out with you guys anymore. Uh, I need a break from all of And so you didn't get any trivia, which, is suck which sucks. Because so. I had my own commitments. Oh, so Beard of Fury just said, ew, who plays League of Legends anyways? Dota, oh. Dota 2 is alive. <laughs> so it's true. Like, we've got Chicken and Chip Eater, and then we've got somebody who is, um, yeah, likes League of Legends. Come on. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the Lee of Legends. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, two questions, as usual. Um, I, I am going to stop doing the questions, the, the trivia, when we get to level 50. Nope. Yeah. Yes. Nope. I'm really struggling to make questions. It's because you do it during the podcast. Come on. You admitted <laughs> that during the podcast, we come up with trivia. Who does yeah, that? But, yeah, but it's like, like I, I procrastinate. 
Um, like you hang out with me every day, all week during live streams. I talk nonstop. I'm pretty sure you can I come up with I did have an idea that I was going to share after, but. We'll share it now, I guess. Oh. I mean, I was just thinking like, I know you want to have this not be like an interview kind of thing and maybe have other people kind of take over the reins every couple of weeks, right? I just, so I want I was, people to jump in instead of me asking, hey, what do you think of this? I just want you to jump in and tell me what you think. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I'm, I was just, I was just thinking like if we like rotate who does like the main talking every couple of weeks, you know, and then we can also rotate who comes up with the trivia questions. That way Lee can have a chance to answer some questions. Oh, Lee, such a baby. Or let the chat or let the chat choose who's gonna do the I can I can come up with this idea to, to Yeah, to be or honest, or but... even or even like Gaz just said, each week we could have like a poll on on the channel for who does next week's trivia. Yeah, the next trivia master. Who trivia master. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how do we how do we get that? Do we do a poll? Hello, poll. Yeah, yeah you do a poll in the chat, won't you? Who do you want to be the next trivia thing? Yeah, I can do a poll. At level fifty, right? Yes. Big baby. I am the trivia keeper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like can't even depend on loyal Lee anymore. This is terrible. Oh, well, Wah, it's getting hard. I've noticed that Lightyear yeah, but... have just been chugging on Pepsi. I'm so, thirsty. Uh, <laughs> so Grim said, it's when... black gold. It's not helping." <laughs> so Grim said, "Why not have someone in the audience in the trivia?" Uh, with all honesty, that's a great idea. The problem is, is having. Let me just say, the problem is, is having someone consistently here every podcast to to actually do that. That's that's it. That's it. That and to trust the person in the chat that they're going to give us the right answer. Well, A to Z of gaming, he knows everything about it because he's A to Z, right? So uh, there would he would always ha get the answer right. All right, let's let's just go to the trivia. I, I, I guess me doing the trivia gives me validation for being here because I know very little about, about the whole thing. Terrible. Do you want me to email you a bunch of questions for the next several weeks, Lee? Uh, sure. <laughs> He's got an yeah. email. He's got an email. All right. Give us your – how many questions you got? Did you come to you? Two. Two. All right. No. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. I know this first, is – First ask, first answer Grin's question in the chat. <laughs> I what? just I, – I read it. I just left it. <laughs> uh, I need to see the question. Question. Well, I see. What's the uh, question? So Grim. It'll be harder once he gets a girlfriend. Yeah, in more uh, ways than one, Grim. More ways than one. Uh, All right, let's go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> eighteen plus. <laughs> eighteen plus. It just turned eighteen plus. <laughs> okay. Question time. Okay. Um, uh, question one: How many Lego games have have been released? Oh my I thought this was already a question. It was. No. No, it wasn't. Pretty sure it was. Pretty sure. Well, it was. Was. Well, if, if it is, then you should get the answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. We remember the question. The answer is just like, hmm. Like, yeah, because I think there's been a new game that's been released since the question we were asked the question last. All right. Oh. That's all right. Ask it anyways. Let's go. I haven't asked this question before. Ask it. That's all right. Ask, you ask have the question. A list of all the questions you asked. No, because he... <laughs> Eddie, go ahead, Lee. Go ahead. Ask the question. I the reason he doesn't want to do trivia anymore because it turns into pick on Lee this? every time the this? question period. Yes. No, no. It's because it's it's genuinely hard to like find questions now. What are you trying to kiss, Mark? No, no, it's, it's because it's, Lee. it's because his camera's flipped, no, so he's here. he's trying to snog me. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you drink that water. 
Um, okay, so how many LEGO games have been released? Um, 70, 75, 80, 85. The answer, I think, was in the 80s, if I remember from the last time he asked it. Um, I'm going to go 80. I'm going to go 85. <laughs> I'm saying 85. Well, got to guess, James. 80. I haven't got a clue. What was the What was the third answer? 80. Um, 70, 75, 80, 85. 75. Nobody's going to go with Pharaoh Master. Go ahead, Mark. I will go 80 just to split it, everything up. Lee? 85. I remember from last time. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> All right. Next it's question. <laughs> I just want to say I'm at 19 now. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sheer distress and anger on his face right now. I love it. It's just like oh, I don't even know why you're here. I hate this oh, guy. Wait. Next one. Next one. Come on. Come on. Okay. Um, th this could be like a really easy question, or it could be a hard question because I don't really know. Because um, I asked a, an easy question a few weeks ago, and you never got it. Like it's. Um, uh, where is um, which city is Ubisoft HQ in? Is it uh, Berlin, Brussels, Madrid, or Paris? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I'm going Berlin. Brussels. Brussels sprouts. I was thinking Berlin and Brussels. I don't I see why Berlin. I'm in Spain. What are the choices? One more time. Berlin, Brussels, Madrid, or Paris? I'm going to say Brussels. Oh, Paris. I'm going to say Paris. Let's see you Who chose. Yeah, I said Brussels. I was the All first right. one that chose. All right, to let's choose. go. It's Paris. Oh, Paris. It's, uh -huh. it's, Are you it's, sure? It's a, it's a French Ubisoft. company. Ubisoft. Uh, we, have, we have an Ubisoft Studios in, in Montreal. Montreal. What? Do you but really? You, Ubisoft. Ubisoft is uh, is a French company, so. So Paris. yeah, Montreal. I know we have Ubisoft Montreal. I didn't know we had a Halifax one. How freaking cool is that? I, I, I'm pretty sure I found that out like one day when I was looking at Ubisoft. Well, yeah. It's pronounced Ubisoft. That's no, how it's Ubisoft pronounced. Halifax no. is located <laughs> in <laughs> the part Ubisoft. of downtown, oh, overlooking oh, oh. the scenic Halifax waterfront. That's the amazing. The studio began its journey with, with Ubisoft in 2015. Okay, no, that's cool. I didn't know it was there. That's amazing. They are current Halifax Studios is currently working on Assassin's Creed Rebellion, a unique been on the popular franchise and the first appearance of everyone's favorite characters on mobile on mobile all right anything else guys before we close shop oh, okay lightsy anything else that's guys <laughs> this no, is no, it's yeah, just, no his his image is turn on the stream you'll see you'll see so James, turn on my that. stream you'll see that that is that is what? That's James. That's Mark. You're there. Lee is way over there, and Gaz is yeah. way over there. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, so me. so for some people, it's flipped. Yeah, that's really weird. Anyways, all right. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Before we uh, before we're done. Well, 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 what I think is weird is for you're the right way round to us, but when you're streaming the podcast, you you're flip. When you're streaming normally, you're the right way round. So when I yeah when I look at the actual stream on my channel this is all right like everything's perfect it's weird yeah, yeah. look at my stream but look at my stream and your your cabinets are on the other side of the room why yeah why I, I, what did I you know. do Lightsy? I didn't do anything I'm, like because because it's like if if Paul you raise your right hand then then. It's it comes as up as your left hand on stream, but when you're streaming normally, it's uh it's the other way around where you, where your it looks like your right hand's up. Can I put it down now? 
Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Let's close up shop. Yes, since, Mr. Since Pharaoh. Since there's nothing else. <laughs> All right. Giggity guess. Where can they find you, my man? Okay. Can I just say a couple of things before I stop? Before I, we go. Right? Yes. I want you to say uh, as much as you want so you can feel happy. I, uh, yeah. Um, hang on. Right. In August, right? It's Lego related. They're bringing out an A500 Lego set. August. Oh, Atari. Oh, Atari. Oh, let me just get a mortgage. It's, no, it's only like it's a... $140. Only. So it's like 3,000 Canadian. Only. Yeah, 3,000 Canadian. 140 pounds. Well, that's coming out in August. Pounds. All right. And uh, 17th of July, charity live stream on my YouTube channel for the Mary Stephen Hospice. All right. Do we have a link, the donation link yet? No, because I am in talks with a couple of companies for sponsors. Well, and when is when is it again? Uh, 17th of July. All right. Get that stuff to July. me right away, James. Or, okay. uh, yes, get it to me right away, and we'll, we will promote the <laughs> out of it. Okay? Thank you all. Excellent. All right. Jam Master James, where can they find you? I'm everywhere. I'm here, there, I'm all over the place. Oh, okay with that explanation when James. <laughs> when I do it, nah, nah, you have to get twin. <laughs> oh. I, have twin, I never, I never use it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm on Paul's streams or Discord, so if you want to send me a message for whatever weird reason, uh, feel free to. <laughs> And there's Instagram. I've got some good jokes. You know, what console does Jesus play on? Obviously, the PlayStation. Oh. So, you know, if you ever need, need any jokes to the lift of spirits, here, there you go. The PlayStation. All right. Um, he accepts donations on PrayPal. So, you know. <laughs> Lighty, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Logan Ainsley and YouTube. Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, just like And Mark, where can they find you? Uh, let's see, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, at Ultimate Hater 87. And Lee, Roy, Jenkins, all of your social media, you guru, where can they find you? I hate that you leave me last. Uh, uh, yeah, you can find me on Discord, this channel, um, and Instagram and email. And <laughs> email. Yeah, just, you know, um, just send me whatever. S send me your PIN number, bank account details. He said whatever, so send nudes to <laughs> Lee. All right, excellent. Is there anything else, guys? This it? I want to thank uh, yeah. I want to thank all you guys for joining me today. This was awesome. James, we love having you, dude. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was yeah. super awesome. Lots of fun jam and uh, good conversations. If there's anything you guys want us to talk about, send me a message on Discord, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all of that stuff. You, you can find me. Email I'm always Lee. around. Email Lee. If there's topics you want us to talk about, let me know. This would be amazing to get more of your community feedback. And uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, chilling. All, all the Xbox execs who love us, thank you for watching. Phil Spencer, I know you watch. And thank you, thank you. Because uh, you're you're all about it. The PlayStation dude, we know he doesn't really give a crap. Um, all of that stuff. So, yeah, we are going to... Oh, Missy's going to send you nudes, apparently, Lee. There you go, Instagram DM Lee. So, we're going to rock it. So, here we go. As for Lee, and I'm pointing properly, as for Gaz, as for James, as for Lightsy and Mark, my name is Paul, and you guys take care. There we go. Lee, Guys. do you have Microsoft Word? <clears throat> yes. So if I write a shed load of questions with the answers down, you can, you'd be happy to use them as trivia? Sure. Cool. I'll, I'll do them and email them across to you if you'd like. It, yeah. it is, I, I did email you the right address last time. Um, yes. Um, at... Uh, um... A little bird told Lee at gmail.com. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do that. Such a terrible, terrible <laughs> email address. <laughs>
Yeah, but you keep saying it's long, but it's not even that long. It it takes at least a minute it's and a half a to type pun. it out. No, well, uh, well, you, you shouldn't be doing your job, Paul, because you work in a call center. It's just, it will just be. I don't even know what you're talking. So about. slow. What are you doing? I don't know what you're talking. About. So friends are going away, but I have three friend requests on Twitch. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they got rid of their friend they, stuff. On they will be. They'll be getting rid of it soon, but I just checked and apparently I have three friend requests now. But, like, it clearly Lodger states... looks cute at the minute. What's this? Oh, well, one of them will be with the, the mum. <laughs> Lightsy, that's amazing. Any messages today, Paul, from your special friend? <laughs> <laughs> Audio is still live. I know I am. One sec, one sec. Um, yes, yes, I did. I, he's not here, so I can talk about it. Yeah, I what did. What did he say? I, uh, I, I deleted it. I don't know. Something about good, good morning, mate, or something like that. And then that's all that shows up. I'm sure there was more, but I deleted it. Is it? Is it the the guy that I'm aware of? Yes. 